So, part two. I have my corona clothes on. I've actually swapped out my t-shirt today and I forgot to put my clothes in the dryer this morning so they weren't ready for when I went to have my shower. So I had to hang around in a towel um, after I'd had my shower and wait for my clothes to dry. And anyway, I had um, my groceries delivered this morning. So I had that whole process, you know, that I showed you with my, uh, my station at the door, disinfecting everything, putting them on the table and disinfecting the table, blah, blah, blah. And anyway, and then I swapped out my T-shirt because I freak, freaked out about Corona being on my T-shirt after taking uh, items from the outside world. Anyway, I'm all good. Um, and... Yeah, so I thought I would just let you know a couple of things that I found a bit bemusing over the last few days coming out of uh, this terrible crisis. So, ScoMo's new buzzword, hibernation. Taking the hibernation approach. Yeah, working together to find a solution so that we can, when we come out of hibernation, you know, we can get back on track again. I like it. I like it, ScoMo. I'm going, I want to go into hibernation. I really, really do. But unfortunately, you're forcing me to go to work because I'm a preschool teacher. Uh, but anyway, hibernation for those who can, great. Go and hibernate, I say. Yeah, I, look, I've never been so busy as in my self-isolation time. Unfortunately, I have to go back to work tomorrow, but you know, it's pretty good. I've, I've found so many things to keep me occupied. Anyway, um, oh, ScoMo's wife, she went out and bought some jigsaw puzzles because ScoMo's family considered jigsaw puzzles to be essential. And he's figuring that those jigsaw puzzles are going to be an absolute essential item in his household over the next few weeks. So there you go. Put that on your essentials list. If you've got children, you want to keep them busy and happy. Get your jigsaw puzzles. But he did say going out and shopping for high-end fashion is a no-no. So don't do it. No high-end fashion now, everyone. Um... Oh, isn't it a weird world without football? Don't, don't get me wrong, I, I really I don't like football that much and I find it extremely boring and I hate the thuggery about it. But, you know, it's, it's feel, it feels like something's missing in our world when you can't flick through the telly stations and come across a game of football. So, you know, it started, we saw a few games and all of a sudden stopped. And yeah, bring back, bring back a bit of footy for those who, who love it, you know. I know we can't at the moment, but yeah, it's a big hole, big hole. I'm going to go to another part, part three.